Mike, his wife, and the staff here for having us, please. All right, tell you a little bit about these guys. Dennis Hatch, a lot of you know him. He's from Buffalo. Um, he's one of the best money players ever. He once played a match with Darren Appleton for $40,000. Raised to 100, beat him 100 at 83. Yep. He's won more Josh Stop tournaments than anybody, probably 200 over the last 20 years. At one point, they're going to rename it the Hatch Tour. <laughs> <laughs> Two times Super Billiards Expo champ, world junior champ. The only junior ever to win all three disciplines, eight ball, nine ball, and straight pool. 10 ball, Denver Open. And Dennis has always been, whenever he's in town, for me personally, he's been able to come over here and help people out, give lessons, and just do appearances and talk to people. He's very, very approachable. So please, give a hand. Oh, I'm sorry, the, one of the most important ones he's ever done here. Moscone Cup, 2009, the first person ever to win the MVP of the Moscone Cup Team USA. Dennis Hatch. Now his opponent today, Earl Strickland, if you don't know him, he's got some records that, I mean, I could go on forever, but he's played in 16 major events, went to 16 finals in the major events, won all 16. Now that's very difficult to do. Five of them were the U.S. Opens, five Masters, and six World Titles. Earl Strickland's won over 300 major tournaments. He's been all over the world playing. In my opinion, he's the best shot maker ever in the game of pool. I've never seen anybody better. And just to give you a little me? testimony to that, <laughs> real, close, real close, real close. Uh, but he took me yesterday in a tournament to second place. Actually, beat Dennis and Dave in the, in the, in the, um, in the first finals in the first set, 5-1, and they got us 4-2. But if you know how I shoot, that's a miracle in itself. <laughs> Earl Strickland. Nice introduction, but pool isn't always as humbling as you want it to be. You know, I've done a lot of trick shots in my life, a lot of shows. And I've only done a couple of shows where I was perfect. I could fall flat on my face. <laughs> well, I'm gonna try to. Uh, do you remember April? My sister April and her sons are here today, and her friends give her a hand. For her. <laughs> I get lost or something, don't I? But anyway, remember I used to, we used to go hunting. You remember I used to plow the cornfields, right? Oh, yeah. She's a Yankee now. She was a Southerner <laughs> one. <laughs> now I'm a Yankee. I'm living in New York City. So. <clears throat> but uh, I used to stand at the end of the cornfield and shoot the dove, right? So now I know how to do it on the pool table. I call this skeet shooting on the pool table. I'm going to roll the balls down the table and try to pocket them as they go in. I'm going to try to get four or five in a row. If I don't, then that'll have to be the way it is. All right, I wounded that one. <laughs> wounded that one.
I'm glad to see so many pool enthusiasts today. It's really nice to see. Pool's a great game, ain't it, huh? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. It really is. The other day I was watching TV, and I was turning the channel, and here come a title on of a movie. It said, The Greatest Game Ever Played. And the first thing that I thought was pool. I said, pool's the greatest game ever played, but it was golf. <laughs> I said, no, 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 they got that wrong. Okay. But Daddy would disagree with me. <laughs> Our father loved golf. Actually, golf was the first game he ever showed me. But uh, I'll tell you something funny about golf. When, even when I was a little kid, I could acknowledge it, and it's hard to believe. I played baseball, and I loved football, and I loved golf. You know, when my dad took me to play pool, I forgot about all those games. I didn't even want to play them anymore. I understood that at nine years old or ten years old, I understood that golf, that pool was a more intriguing game than those games. And that's why I quit playing them. But here's the shot, and I'm glad I played pool. I really am. I think I was put here for some reason. I do serve a purpose, some purpose, I know. <laughs> but anyway, here's a shot that made a player famous. Steve Mizrak. Some of you remember Steve, don't yes. you? Yeah. Steve Mizrak. Great player, wasn't he? He was. Dennis, he was a great player. You know, we all have our differences. And Steve was, you know, very, uh, you know, cocky. He's a cocky guy. Right? And he had the right to be. He had the world by the, in his hands at one time. <laughs> and he was the best player in the world at one time. So, But anyway, this shot's in honor of Steve Miserat. He was a great player. I played a lot of a lot of matches against him. He actually made me famous when I beat him in Tahoe right here when I jumped the ball. The first jump shot on ESPN. That was a very famous moment. Thousands of people started playing pole when I jumped that one ball. Thousands, just like that. Nobody else could jump, or was the first person. You can't believe how something like that can instantly spark a person to go to the pole room. Just as soon as I jumped that ball, millions of people got up and went to the pool room. <laughs> they really did. He believes that too. <laughs> but, anyway, but anyway, this shot's in honor of Steve. It's called the, the, the famous shot, the Miller Lite shot. Some of you remember the commercial, I know. You have to be a little older. <laughs> There's a can of beer, because this commercial was in the 70s, the early 70s. Yeah, There's a can of beer sitting here in Miller Lite. He would pocket the 15 ball on the side, the 7 on the side, the 14 on the side, the 13 in the corner, the 2 in the corner, and the cue ball would go three cushions. As he went to get the 5 ball, he would pick up the can of beer and it would knock it in. He would say, just show it off by no one. Right. It's a great commercial. <laughs> this shot's in honor of Steve. It took him 383 takes, so I hope we don't take that. <laughs> but sometimes these shots don't always go, and you got to hit them right, too. So this shot's in honor of Steve, the great Miller, Miller Light shot. This morning and ran seven miles. Wow. I did 500 sit-ups before really I ran the seven miles. And I said to myself the whole way, pool is a humbling game. Don't forget it. Beating it into my mind. This is the most humbling game I've ever seen. That's why I like it. All right, once more. The great Miller Light Show. Let's try it. 
Michael Jordan was born in North Carolina, not too far from us, right, April? He was born in uh, over in there, Wilmington, wasn't he? So we named this. I named this shot after Michael Jordan, since at one time Jordan had the greatest vertical in the world. Didn't he? Especially, he was the first guy to jump from the foul line all the way to the goal. <laughs> Oh, he was defying gravity, wasn't he? Huh? But anyway, when, you remember I used to go fishing all the time, right, April? When I was a kid. But uh, I was sitting on a log one day fishing. I think I was about 12 years old. And I said to myself, somebody around here is as great as me. I can feel it. <laughs> I'm in the middle of nowhere in this creek, in a black water and a lagoon. And I'm, there's uh, snakes and everything, right? And I'm sitting there saying, somebody's around here as good as me. <laughs> it was Jordan. He was on the same river fishing. <laughs> I'm telling you. He was. He was, uh, he was on the same river. You know, almost the same age. I think he's breathing. I'm either a year older than him or he's a year younger than me. I don't know. What <laughs> but we're real close. He was on that river because it runs right up the wind. I know where that river goes. But anyway, so... I named this shot after him after I became a professional player. I said, well, I named one shot after Jordan. I call this a slam dunk. There's only one thing that puzzles me. Jordan got a billion dollars, statue, and a building. All I got was a pool table. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't right. I ain't going for that. <laughs> they owe me at least a building. Nah, I want a statue. <laughs> <laughs> I said, one day they'll name a, a, a road after me in Roseboro. Yeah, they got to. <laughs> if they don't, I'm coming out of that grave. <laughs> I've always said, too, when I'm dead, this is Noah, when they bury me, a hundred years from now, players will be going to my grave to make sure I'm in it. <laughs> yeah, right. This shot's in honor of Michael Jordan. It's called the Slam Dunk. I'm going to pocket the 15, the 9, the 13, the 10, and the 14 in this box. Because i got to hit it hard and slam it up. I bet I can jump higher than Jordan now. I saw him, he had a big belly. He ain't as good a shape as me, i tell you that right now. <laughs> He might have more money than me, but I'm telling you, I feel good. Can't buy that. Money can't buy how you feel. Play that right now. Try another shot. Eight ball shot. I was playing this guy a game of eight ball one time. I'm going to shoot one more shot, and then Dennis is going to shoot a couple of shots. So uh, he can interact with us in his trick shots. And just for the record, I don't do trick shots. <clears throat> this is my first time ever. So if I miss, bear with me. <laughs> Since it's my hometown, I was coming here. Earl usually does all the trick shots. And I said, Earl, it's my hometown. So I want to do some trick shots. Yeah. So uh, he's uh, interacted with me and we've uh, got a few shots to shoot. So if I mess, don't laugh. <laughs> anyway, I was playing this guy a game of eight ball one time. And he, 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 he was a real hard shooter. He would shoot hard at the ball. So he shot hard at the eight ball. And he went around, hit every ball on the table. And then the eight hung up in the hole. And then all the balls went back together. <laughs> I said, what kind of shot was that? And we're playing call shot. And I said, well, I'm not going to make this shot. He hung the eight ball in the pocket. So it's obvious if I don't make a shot, he's going to win the game. So I figured it out. I, I don't know how. I said, oh, I know this shot. <laughs> I said, nine ball in the corner, 15 in the side, 14 in the corner, 13 in the side, 10 in the side, 11 in the corner, 12 in the corner. If this shot ever comes up like that, call me collect. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, here's the crazy shot on that eight ball player. Chase me around the bowl room and out the door. <laughs> For that shot. <laughs> All right, Dennis is going to play one of those eight ball oh, shots. Too. He's going to play. He was playing a crazy guy a game of eight ball. This really happened too. See, now it's my turn. I lost the mark. So I'm gonna, he's setting me up for failure. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow, no, they disappeared. I don't know how. They said, oh boy. <laughs> well, how about you shoot it first? If you miss it, then they can. Straight in front of you. Are there? I don't know how they're going to win. You're going to have me shoot the toughest one first. Well, this isn't an easy shot. You just wow. He said this is an easy <laughs> shot. Now if I miss it, I really look stupid. Really. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dennis is going to hit the 15 ball. He's going to split these balls. And the 15 is going to go down there, the 9 here, and the 12 here. And then what's nice about this shot is the cue ball will give a pinball reaction down here to get the 10. We hope. Sometimes they don't know who, which horse won. But now they have to go to a photo finish to find out which horse won. You guys kind of want to move so you can see this. This is cool. So what you're going to do. My body's going to be in the way. Just stand up and go over there. Cool job. Photo finish. So, who in the crowd can tell me what ball is going to go on the hole first? The two goes here, the three goes here, and the one goes there. Which ball goes in first? One. Two. Three. One. Three. The what? One. Three. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. One. Two. Three. 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 Two. Three.
at your door here for our 500 million. <laughs> I wouldn't want to. <laughs> all right, after all that, I'm going to butcher this shot. All right, I'm going to try to block the eight ball in the corner. Send the cue ball to the side rail, the bottom rail around the 10, to the side rail around the 11, down here to the bottom rail around the 13 ball. Say a prayer for me, please. <laughs> Like I said before, this is not a trick, it's a skill shot. shots like this so that you can truly see the beauty of this game. You know what I mean? Trick shots are a lot of fun, but my main objective is to seek and destroy. I am programmed like a machine, like a green beret to seek guys like me. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> We got family here today, that's right. right. There. Yeah. I gotta watch yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, we're 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 programmed to seek and destroy. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna try this shot. I'm gonna try to block the ten ball in the corner, send the cue ball down to the bottom rail, around the thirteen, come back and get the eleven. Easier said than done. Remember Evil Knievel, right? Evil Knievel. What a guy. Broke every bone in his body. <laughs> Amazing guy. You know how he lost his fortune? Evil Knievel lost his fortune gambling and golf. Like <laughs> an 89 shooter, you know what I mean? <laughs> Could have had my way with him. That million's would have been mine. <laughs> oh, 
couldn't believe. He lost fifty million dollars playing golf. Should I move? No. Okay. You're gonna shoot this. What? <laughs> you said you want to shoot a shot. Here it is. I've never seen this one before. Though. Just go like this. That's it? Just go like that? Just hit it, close my eyes, or what? <laughs> I'm wondering, I ain't shot it. I can't remember. Oh, now you want to shoot it. All right, go ahead. <laughs> you want me to shoot it or you want to shoot it? I'll shoot it. All right, just jack up like this. All right. And, and just jump it and aim straight at that ball, straight in that pocket. We'll pop over the rack, I hope. <laughs> 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 Help jump. Yeah, it needs to jump a little. Hmm. You're right. I, I was thinking a cue stick wouldn't make it jump. I really have never uh, seen the shot before. We haven't done the shot. So what evil can evil? These are all the buses and cars. He's going to jump over them through the flaming hoops. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to put that on fire. Yep. Yeah, thank you. And then evil can evil is the 14 ball. This is his engine. He's going to jump through the hoop and, and into the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I hit the rack. It was going right in the hole. Oh, it was going to the side. It was? Let me explain a minute. I wanted to think it was going. <laughs> right? It was going. You hit it right. Do it again. Do it again? You want it closer like that? Yeah, that's All right. Oh. Hit that good. This One rack. more try and then the rogue gets to shoot it. No, this rack is tricky because it's too thick. I had it perfect. I just missed the pocket. No, it hit the rack. <laughs> what did you miss it? <laughs> did you miss it that time? No, I actually jumped through the rack but I shot it right here. Oh, it was missing. Though. Right. Aim a little straight. You're hitting it good though. Thanks. Good. Just aim a little straight. Don't hit it quite as hard. Okay. So it skips over there. A little harder. All right. One more try. <laughs> no, that's all right. Come on, you'll make this. Sooner or later. Did you eat your Wheaties? I did. I had oatmeal for breakfast actually. I had cab. All right. I'm making this one. See, I really have never shot the shot. That ain't quite hard enough. I'm not even sure it works on this cloth. <laughs> I think the last time I shot this was in the 70s. <laughs> not me, it's the cloth. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is a little bit harder. Alright, then for me to do it. It's gonna go sooner or later. Skip right on. Right. Oh, 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 Different rack, rack. That's all right, we'll come back to it. Yeah, we'll do our job. <coughs> we'll come back. Round of applause for me, please. <laughs> There's nothing wrong, it's a good try. This game's a hard game. There's nothing easy about four. Why don't you try it? I'm telling you, that shot. I bet he makes it on the first or second try. Watch. You want me to try it? Yes. Because you know the shot, you've shot it before. Give him one of those wooden knife offices. Hold on. Is there one right here? In the front of this one? Yeah. Oh, 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 Go ahead. Too many balls. Hey, 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 hey. Don't go out around the table. It's got to live. It's got to live. I think the rack is good. You have all these people bad habits. Do you want this rack or do you want to try that one first? I'll try this. He's going to make me look bad. He's going to make it on the first drive. I don't know that I do it with this stick, though, because it won't chop me. Oh! Oh! That rack is good. 
Yeah. Put that rack up one more time. Come on, where do you want it? How about if we move it closer? No, back there where you had it. Right there. <laughs> Why? Well, I can't believe how easy it's jumping. 
He's still hitting the rock, though. Uh, I think you're hitting the top of the eight. I jumped over the whole house. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It jumps too easy. I don't see how it did that one. I don't always work. Move it out a little bit. It jumps too easy. <clears throat> yeah, well, it jumps too easy. There it is. There it is. Oh! oh, 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 oh. starts happening, I just think back, run and how humbling the game is. Most humbling game I ever seen. Oh. Yeah, that shot's too difficult. You don't make it in the first few tries. But Tex yeah. still lost. <laughs> you made the first day. He did win the money. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try another trick shot. I don't know. Stroke shots are, like I said before, they're a lot of fun. They're, I could stand around and shoot these shots all day. They're just a lot of fun to me. That works. Uh, Thank you. I call this shot, Beam Me Up, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm literally going to have to beam myself yeah. up. <laughs> Let me, uh, where that take me? Right here. I was just trying to get it off my finger. That's why I had soap and water. Uh, That's some serious tape. I need to get a, an endorsement with this company right here. It's really what I need to get. Try to say you run through tape like water? Because I'm going through a lot of tape. <clears throat> As I get older, I keep coming up with more and more remedies. <laughs> for both. And that's what keeps me intact, believe it or not, is all the little remedies. People think I'm crazy. I'm telling you this, I'm not crazy. These little remedies work. It pulls such a hard game. And like I said before, it, well, I didn't say, when you're getting older in pool, around 50, you really start going really bad. I've watched every great player, Jersey Red, Every guy. Siegel. Siegel went at 40. Actually. Rempy, 50, everybody. They were done. They could still play, but they were done. I ain't done. That's the difference between me and the rest of them folks. Anyway, this is a really hard shot. I'm going to try to pocket the eight ball in the corner. Send the cue ball to the side rail, the bottom rail, around the foot, around the seven, to the side rail, around the fourteen, down here, around the eleven ball, over here, around the six ball. And if I miss cue, don't laugh. <laughs> that might be the first thing I do. Again. Wow. No, no. Move the eleven. Right. That's what's happening. 
Spin. in this corner, 12 in that corner, 8 in the side, 7 here. I hope. He scared all of last night. He was telling you, you're going to make me look bad. 
I said, I've never done this. We're well, coming in the car here. He says, don't make me look bad. Uh, <laughs> I don't do trick shots, it's an amazing game. Yeah. Really yeah. can. This game can yeah. really humble you. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me again how you're talking trick shots. I really don't. It's my first time. You saw the uh, Ratchet yeah. Strand do one? Yeah. But you're starting to pick up and learn. That's, that's what you got to do. I remember when I first saw Mike Massey doing trick shots. I was the best pool player on earth almost. <laughs> Shooting people's hearts and livers out. And uh, here comes a trick shot guy. I didn't like trick shot guys. <laughs> didn't like them. Right? I was jealous is what I was. So one time we were in Germany and Massey was given an exhibition during the tournament. I mean, after the tournament was over, he would go down into the into another a place where he had practice tables, and he would entertain people with trick shots. And I was standing over there all bitter watching him. Mm. Yeah. Like so one day, I said to him about years later, I says, you know, instead of fighting it, I ought to get to know the guy. You know what I mean? Pick his brain a little bit, right? Like I said, them lab coat guys should be following me around picking my brain. Why well, wouldn't pick his brain? This is how I come up with all this stuff. So Mike Massey has been an asset to me, I'll tell you. Even though I despised him and didn't respect what he was doing in the beginning, I had to learn and understand him. And it's, and it's been a, and, and, and to this day, it has truly been a blessing. It's truly been a blessing that Mike Massey showed me how to do trick shots. And I relinquished my anger towards trick shot players and learned, instead of being bitter. And now I'm here and I can do some trick shots and I can still make a living. <laughs> <laughs> Tough to make a living at bull right now, ain't it, Dennis, huh? <laughs> oh boy, giving all them golfers that money. Why do you give them golfers all that money for, huh? Why? why? There's golf courses closing everywhere, and they're still giving them millions. That's it's a, it's a shame. It really is. Then what is all that golf? What what is it? Guy goes up to the ball, and then he squeegees all day long. <laughs> then he's got to get his butt right. <laughs> God, you can't hit unless his butt's right. Like you set a coffee cup on or something. Then he squeegees around with his feet all day long. Then he finally gets ready to hit, and a guy breathes. Uh -huh. oh, 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 this guy's breathing over here. Uh, let me get an official. A guy's breathing. <laughs> guy's mad because a guy's breathing. <laughs> I've never seen just fickle people in my life. Just golfers. Most fickle people I've ever seen. Who? Then, this is the grabber. Really, this is the grabber, the acre. I call it the acre. This aches me. Guy does all that squeegeeing, removes the patron, gets up there, hits the ball, and then wants me to paint a picture of him. <laughs> Stands there like this for like two minutes. <laughs> Marveling at himself. <laughs> Paul, you did that? Yeah, he does. Oh, yeah. What in the world is going on? Oh, no. Tennis. Oh, yeah. Tennis is really the grabber. Every time they. I played tennis my whole life. I don't know, uh, April. I played a lot of tennis. You know that. I've hit trillions of tennis balls. I've stood on a wall for hours every day, 365 days a year, back hands. Forehands. You know that I was hitting, I was hitting this stance before they even developed it. The open, the inside out open forehand. I was hitting that shot before they even discovered it. My own, my own. This is what gets me in tennis. I thought pool players sharked each other. 
<laughs> if that ain't a shark, I don't know what is. Hold on, wait a minute. Do that again. Oh! Oh! Now I've got to implement this into my game. Okay? Now I figured out the best way to shark everybody in the tournament. Every time I shoot a ball, oh! I make this shot here, right? Just shoot this ball in, right? Like this. Oh! I'm telling you, I hit a trillion tennis balls and never went, oh! Never. What an act. What an act. God, please. I won't even watch tennis no more. I gave up on it. <gasps> then the doll. The, 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 he was really the grabber. The doll. Comes out to serve. Bounces the ball 400 times and then sticks his finger in his butt. If I was a bit, if I was running the tennis association, there ain't no way I'd let him stick his finger in his butt every time he goes to serve. He really does. I that's the most worst thing I've ever seen in my life. You've seen it? That guy's dirty. <laughs> every time he gets ready to serve, he goes like this. He does. Oh. he does. Watch him play every time. Every time. But anyway. Does he not? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Every time. Uh. <laughs> you should do that every time you hit one of these balls. Uh. <laughs> you can't play pool if you did that every time. He'd mess up. <laughs> now he'd be trending on YouTube in two hours. But anyway, uh, right? let's get back to the shot. But it's, uh, it's amazing. Anyway, this is called the machine gun shot. What I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot the balls three rails off the queue as quick as I can do it. And once I was in China and I was getting ready to perform this shot in front of a lot of generals and officials, they had a marching band for me. i never seen that before. I came to do an exhibition and they brought a marching band for me. I couldn't believe it. So all these officials are sitting there. I'm getting ready to do this shot. And I said, I'm going to get my gun ready. And then I went, and they all ducked. <laughs> but anyway, China, what a place. A great film hanging over it. What a place. I think I have it now. <laughs> all right, here we go. The mighty machine gun shot. Look, the gun jam. <laughs> The gun jam. Got to start over. You know, I actually like to miss this shot and say that because you laugh. You know that? It's true. I don't mind missing. You know why? Because I get you to laugh once in a while. But if I miss too much, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm going back to, I don't know where I'm going. It might not have me anywhere now. All right, one more try. I got a little too quick. disappeared in like 10 minutes. It was not really hard to snow. We'll try a few more of these wing shots. I was a little rusty where I got to still am. I always 
trying to roll it too fast.
tell you what Paul's like when you're playing like the Moscone Cup. Okay? You're playing in front of, you're playing live in front of the whole world, except this country, and they won't accept Paul. I don't know why. That's amazing that we founded this game and we won't even televise it. When other countries want us to want, want them to televise it, they won't even accept it. No, it makes sense. And we founded the game. But anyway. you get in the Moscow Honey Cup. Your whole body shakes. <laughs> so, there you go. That shows you, pull, I'm going to tell you what pull is. It revolves around your nervous system in this game. It's some of the greatest nerves ever are displayed in this game. Believe me. This game is like having a putt with three foot of break in it every time you shoot. That's the putt, that's the shot you got. So, it's a funny game. Anyway, I'm going to try to make eight balls in one shot. I'm going to cheat over the car payment. Pull these bumpers out. <laughs> the signs look too little. <laughs> a guy did, the seagull did this on me once. The ball was frozen on the rail and he came over and pushed on the point. <laughs> He's a beauty, wasn't he? Yes, he was. All right, eight balls. The 14 on the side, the 12 on the side, the 1 on the side, the 3 on the side, the 11 in the corner, the 4 in the corner, the 5 in the corner, and the 8 in the corner. Eight balls. Please go. Yes! Yeah. All right, we hope you've enjoyed the trick shots. And uh, I usually shoot this last shot, but Dennis is taking it on, he said. I begged him. He wants to take this shot on. He's going to try to make the grand finale shot for you, 14 balls in one shot. I'm going to be honest with you, it's a little tricky right now. Just a little? He made it in practice, but when the pressure's on sometimes, it doesn't go off the way you want it. But we hope we can make it. I hope I can set it up just right. When the pressure's on, sometimes you're dogging. Yeah. Basically, that's what he's saying. <laughs> I still like that out of body experience. <laughs> I had listened. You're you, playing and you're over oh, there. Move your cue. Move your cue for a second. Because I want to talk about the Moscone Cup. Me and Johnny Arthur were playing a match in the Moscone Cup. And I had this shot right here. And the 7 8 were sitting like this. Right? It was like an off angled uh, combination. The 8 was out here and the 7 was like this. And Johnny said, just roll, just hit it soft. And he wanted me to follow the cue ball a little bit. Like, and he, I'm like, Johnny. You want to follow it in, like almost in the pocket. So he says, "Yeah, just like a quarter inch." Mm -hmm. If you watch the match, 2009, that's what I say. Point hooking. I said, "Right there, Johnny." He says, "Yeah." I go like this. I get down. And I'm like, my whole body. I'm like this. <laughs> my whole body shaking. I hit the cue ball, and I, I like skim it, and the ball. As soon as I hit the cue ball, Johnny, you can hear Johnny on the mic. He says, "Johnny says, oh God." <laughs> <laughs> the cue ball. Look, the cue ball goes like this, and it rolls. Barely hit. Barely it. touches the six. The six stops right here for a second and then falls. That's how nervous I was. Oh, I, I was like this, and when I hit it, I barely got to the ball. I said to myself, too, I said, oh, God, I thought I didn't even hit the six. <laughs> Watch that man. Johnny said, oh, God. <laughs> I, hate to, I hate to do Rampy, but uh, this is the worst one I've ever seen. Rampy's playing in the Moscone. Johnny told me this. Yeah, I like that. 
He's got to cut that on the knife. This is what he did. He got down, and he was he was shaking like this. And he <laughs> he dropped the skew. <laughs> 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 Watch this again. <laughs> this is the same shot. Really again. Good. Watch. <coughs> I mean, how hard is that shot? <laughs> but that's how nervous we get. We're not making fun of Jim. We're just describing how nervous you can get in that way. We're trying to let people know that pole is a sport. And you get nervous, and you get scared, and sometimes you execute, and sometimes you dog it. <laughs> No, it's all right. Yeah. Oh, this one, trick shots under pressure. Yeah. Trick shots under what? Camera's falling. Stressed out right now. Who? <laughs> <laughs> no, I honestly have never done this at any show. You can ask my girlfriend, Earl. I wanted to go here because it's my hometown. Family's here. This is one tricky shot. We'll find out right now. This is one tricky shot right now. All right, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. All right, you know what? Go, you tell them where the balls are going, because I don't even know where they're going. <laughs> right, from 20 to the side, to 5 to the side, to 2 in the corner, to 6 in the corner, to 15 in the corner, to 10 in the corner, to 11 in the side, 13 in the side, 4 in the side, 7 in the side, to 12 follows the 8 in, to 14 follows the 9. Wow. What was that? Uh, in Boston, in Rochester last uh, Saturday or uh, Friday, the last ball on the table was the 13 ball. Yeah, it was every out. time. It was Friday 13th. It was unbelievable. Oh my God. But it was Friday yeah. 13th, wasn't it? And then I just made 13 out of 14. That was in Bass. Was it? Yeah. Oh, that's right. You did it twice. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna make it this time. I hit that one too hard. I missed one down there. Let me check that one. No, 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 this one missed. I, uh, I gotta check it.